I got to get myself going. And I could see the Holy Ghost with his hand reaching down. And all he's waiting for is your hand to reach up. Come on. Sometimes that hand will be in the form of a man or woman. You're down. You've been hit, blindsided. The doctor's report was devastating. The landlord's report, you didn't want to hear that. The repo of the car, you didn't want to hear that. The loss of a loved one, you, you really didn't want to hear that. And where are you? You're down. You're beat up. You're bruised. You're hurt. Every part of your body is saying, get up, but you can't. And here comes the Holy Ghost. Reaching down. Saying, I'm going to pick you up. Just reach out to me. Give me your hand. Put your hand in mine. And you do. Because you love the Lord. And you have all to do to get one leg up. Because you're battered. You're bruised. You're hurt. But then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, that strength starts to come. You're up on your feet like that newborn giraffe. But the Holy Ghost nudges you, pushes you, and you take that first step. It's called getting up. And the part of the body that's bruised and hurt is now getting over it. Watch this, church. But it never got to your mind. Because your mind, it's what's going to tell you to get going. And then all of a sudden, Romans 12, 1 and 2 comes to you. Your mind has been transformed. All of a sudden, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Old things are passing away. Everything is becoming new. And now your mind is thinking different. Now your mind is being reformed and restored. And because your mind is being strengthened, the bruises, emotional bruises, are now being removed. Now you're up on your feet. A little wobbly because you've been beat up. A little beat up. Because you just can't push yourself to get over it. You're to that point. And God's saying, I'm going to get you going. I'm going to get you going. Watch this now, church. After everything is said and done, you start now to run the race. But I can't do it. But you feel an urge behind you. You feel something that's taking place behind you. It's called goodness. It's called mercy that's following you. And it's pushing you. I can't go another day, Lord. I'm so stressed out. I can't, can't move another, another step. But here's the Holy Ghost nudging you and nudging you. Like a mother nudges her newborn. Like a giraffe, nudges her newborn. Like a deer, nudges her newborn. To get them far away from the enemy's jawbone. And all of a sudden, hallelujah, I'm getting going now. I'm moving a little faster. I'm getting myself going. I'm moving a little faster. I'm getting going. I'm getting going. I'm getting going. Can somebody help me go? I'm getting going. All of a sudden, look what the Lord has done. All of a sudden, I'm running the race. I'm planning on finishing. I'm planning on not looking back. I'm planning on looking forward to what God 
has for me. Can you give him a mighty shout in the house? My mind Worship the Master. To Calvary. Jesus, I give you praise. Jesus bled and died for me. I see his wounds, his hands, his feet. My Savior, Lord, that curse the tree. His body bowed and drenched in tears. They laid him down in Joseph's tomb. The entrance sealed oh, we give by it. heavy stone. Blazing sun 